Oh my gosh, what an idiot. What I think is right and what Randy says is wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong that child has a patch cut out on his head that is like bald. You have that much free time to just be a jerk to people online for absolutely no reason. And you don't deserve a reaction, you know? They want to go the extra mile, they're going to find your email and either email you like love notes or they'll send you could have been a cute love story i don't know if i've ever told this specific story i think i've told the stories about how we met but i have been reading an audiobook to basically like i say yes to things experience things um meet people and like put yourself out there and i saw his friend request that day that specific day <laughs> and i was like oh, you know what? i'm gonna accept it so I accepted it, and that man did not message me. It almost felt like a blind date. And now we're married to have a baby. Welcome back to a new vlog. My name is Brittany. Welcome to my channel. We do small biz, lifestyle, etc. Hopefully you're here for the etc. <laughs> Because I never know what the actual vlog is going to be about until after it's all been filmed. Um, but I do know we are starting today's vlog out with some packing orders because TikTok is still doing its thing and bringing people in. The only work I have to do is upload a video. So like, what's the beauty of TikTok? You can make a video and expect zero sales from it every time and then just one of those days you get a video and you just rack in sales. So we are just living that high right now. Yesterday I did a video. It wasn't even about my bookmarks, but I had a bookmark in it. And it's like at 5,000 views, which I know when I say viral, a lot of you are thinking millions of views. Um, no, when I say viral, it's just more than 200 for me. So <laughs> we have 5,000 views, but we did get eight orders from that. So that is good that's good because you know some some weeks it can be zero some weeks it can be zero but this week we're starting on eight which is amazing technically nine no actually seven <laughs> seven from that video but i had two over the weekend while i was at my show i got a couple orders and that was from a video in the past that went viral again i'm gonna say viral i think it's like a 80 ish thousand and that has brought in like a hundred sales. So we love that and that video is still getting sales. But yeah, we have bookmarks to pack. I am so excited. Yesterday, well yesterday I had the brilliant, not brilliant. I had a, yeah, I'm gonna say, I had the brilliant idea that I'm gonna do a luxe collection with my bookmarks where I use um, like solid filled gold. But then last night I spent hours trying to find the supplies and I cannot for the life of me find my bookmark hooks that are filled gold. Plated gold, yes, but not filled. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to get that special. I'm, I guess I am because I have spent a like deep research. Cannot find it, not on the market. So I need to figure out how to get someone to make that for me and how much that will be. I mean, like, listen, if we only make maybe three Lux bookmarks, like, I'm fine just sitting on those, you know? I'm not gonna make a ton. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna make a ton of product, like, stock. Absolutely not. But I think it'd be really fun to have it as an option and hopefully not get stolen. <laughs> like, I don't know if I've ever had anything swiped from a market. I don't think so, because, but I wouldn't know because I don't, do well tracking my inventory something i'm working on but yeah um but i would know if one of the three got swiped <laughs> but then another idea and i've had this one but i'm like i'm actually doing it i already ordered the supplies so it is happening in the next couple weeks i'm going to be launching my belt bag charms um or purse charms it could be either or but they're gonna just be on a um really solid hook like a keychain hook and then I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna start them out using the charms that I have because I have some really cute charms that I haven't even used yet. I'm like, that'd be cute on a, like just dangling from a belt bag. Um, but I'm gonna use some, like, I think I bought 18 karat gold plated chain 
that I can cut up and make into any like length I want. So super excited about that. I'm going to have that ready for my next show, which is the Preble County Pride Festival. Not this upcoming weekend, but the next weekend. So I get this upcoming weekend off. I say off, but it's not really because I actually have so family photos on that Saturday and then on which I'll explain something in a second. And then on Sunday we have Asher's birthday party, which his birthday isn't until um, mid-May, but my sister, um, one of well, both her kids are in soccer and they have tournaments. And so I scheduled it around their tournaments and it had been planned and way advanced because it was only immediate family. So I'm like, I obviously want everyone there. But then she texted me this week and was like, um, so they scheduled another tournament on that day. And so they're not coming anymore, which sucks because he loves my niece and nephew. He loves them. And I also don't get to see them often. So yeah, we have, so that's Sunday. Asher's supposed to be sleeping. He has been an hour and a half in his crib. You can probably hear him in the background. He has been nonstop talking. He's starting to yell. I I think that means he's not napping, which is not good for us because we have to pack these orders, <laughs> but it might have to do it with him, uh, which is fine, but he also needs a nap because then he'll be cranky later. Mama needs some time too. I guess, I guess he has been in his room though for like an hour and a half, so like technically that's time, but it's, he needs to sleep. What happened and why I laughed at the family photos is because, so I cut Randy's hair um, with his like shaver. And my sister, when we went to Columbus last time, gave Asher a haircut and it's the one she does on my nephew. And it looked really good and I don't know why I, and I do know why because I always do this where like I see something once and I'm like, I can do that and replicate it just fine and then it does not work out. And that's exactly what happened because this is one of the things where it's like, I need to listen more and sometimes I think that <laughs> what I think is right and what Randy says is wrong. <laughs> so my husband, who obviously has been like, had his hair, has been using shavers for his life. And I just started cutting his hair this year. <laughs> and I, he was like, I'm pretty sure she used a one, a size one. And I agreed with him at first, but then I was like looking at it, I was like, no, I think I was shorter than this. And so I took it off and had on the zero so like no like length to it and I started the haircut without Randy being like I'm right I was wrong I was so wrong that child has a patch cut out on his head that is like bald and when I realized what that it was wrong it was it's a solid like probably four inches by two inches long and then I switched it back to the one, which is what Randy said. And so now he's just really patchy and I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix it. And so I am absolutely not, you are not touching that. So I am waiting until Friday, which is, it's Monday today, um, to redo it with a one and hope that that patch has grown enough that it doesn't look too obvious that it's bad, a bad haircut. So yeah, look forward to those photos. <laughs> I hear a little bit of silence, so I'm hoping that means good things. Let's go ahead and get packing just in case. <laughs> All right, we have nine orders. The first one, actually I'll just go through them all so I don't have to go through every time. So Natalie from Colorado bought a dog beaded bookmark and a strawberry bookmark. So, I'm really, I told you this, I'm really upset if I can no longer get this bead, the dog bead, the beautiful, beautiful blue color, and it's very upsetting. It is very, very upsetting. Um, so I only have, like, I think now, like, five of them left. And then, oh, Ra Rafaela bought, from Florida, bought a Night Court bookmark, which is my bookmark that I use. Camilla from Georgia. Her name sounds familiar. I don't know if she's ordered before. She also bought a Night Court bookmark. 
This, that's the bookmark that was in the video from yesterday that did well. Danielle from California also bought two Night Court bookmarks, so I think she's giving one to a friend. Will from Missouri bought a Sophie My Cherry bookmark. And then Gianna from Pennsylvania bought the Sophie bookmark too. Madeline from Alabama bought a Strawberry bookmark. Anna from Minnesota bought a Strawberry bookmark. And then Justice from Indianapolis, which is like close-ish to me, bought a Strawberry bookmark. And then lastly, we have Natalie from Colorado. Nope, I already that's who I started with. So those are the orders. Thank you if for some reason you are from YouTube. Um, usually my TikTok orders are not from YouTube, so I typically don't see you guys on here. Y'all buy on Etsy from me because that's what I link to for YouTube. Because I do not know how to link to my TikTok shop on YouTube. I guess I could figure that out. I always suggest if you're ordering from me to check both Etsy and TikTok to figure out which one's cheaper. Because sometimes TikTok will give you stupid good deals. And then sometimes Etsy will give you coupons. Instead of doing like TikTok pack my <laughs> instead of doing TikTok pack with me orders, I'm gonna just do a quick one just showing these and I'm gonna do a transition into the boxes. So I'll be right back. Hello. Okay, we are back. I don't know why, this reminds me of old video style when you're at a desk just talking. I actually don't know if I've ever been at a desk talking in videos, um, but like I watch people that do. I have just in the last month gotten into the habit of not unpacking after I'm done with this show. As you guys know, I did a show on Saturday over the weekend and so I have a week, two week break and I'm not gonna unpack. The only thing I have are my bookmarks I put on the very top of one of my bins so I can just open it and grab them as I get orders. Um, I don't know if it makes sense to unpack them. The only thing I can think of is like to make sure the clothes don't get wrinkly, but like I have them in there the same way I would have them in my organizer. Speaking of clothing, and I know I said I would not be buying any more things for my doing kitties um, for my display until I start making money because I just I change it all the time. It's so annoying, but I always don't like something, and so I changed it again. Um, and I bought so I watch. A lot of YouTubers on here and one of the things I've been enjoying are people that do the foldable collapsible bookshelves it just looks better than my organizer that like I have to build and unbuild my white one and it's compact and it just looks like a storefront so yeah I bought one of those I did it with a firm so it's only gonna take out to like 30 something dollars a month for six months um, that was not the only thing I bought. I had to get some stuff for Asher's party. So um, you might be like, that was a really expensive one. It was expensive though. <laughs> it was $130. So yeah, we're going to see how that goes. Um, I need to focus real quick. I put the right stuff in here. So that's coming this upcoming weekend. And I should be able to use it for... The Pride Festival. The only thing I'm nervous about is I actually don't know if it's going to fit in Randy's trunk or not. So we might be returning it. Hopefully not. Yeah. I don't think I've updated you on Accutane in a while. I do have a pimple today, but this is the first pimple I've had in over a month, which is just the strangest feeling for me because that has not been the case since before I was like a preteen. You know, when you were in the kid years, I've always had breakouts all over like my chest, my back, and my face. And it's just, it's not like that anymore. So you can say things have been really good. <laughs> my husband always like at least, usually like once a day or every other day will make a comment too saying that my skin looks really good and that he didn't think it was actually going to work and so... He's pleased for me. <laughs> and my, speaking of skin, my poison oak is definitely still here. 
Um, I said I, I had new breakouts. I have like a little spot here. I have a couple spots on my left leg. Then I have the most on my, or right leg, I mean, the most on my left leg. Um, so I definitely am rewashing those leggings over and over. I still don't have no idea what top I was wearing. This very well could be the top I was wearing, and I just don't know. Uh, I don't know. So we're just going to have to keep getting new spots, I guess. What I want to do sometime is packing orders live on TikTok. I'm just so nervous. That is not my personality going live on things. I overthink everything. I would just be wondering like or afraid someone's going to get on and like be mean or say something gross and like lewd. Uh, just like all the possibilities when reality is I know if I went live I just wouldn't, no one would be on there, it would just be me being awkward talking to myself, which is another reason I'm not doing it. Um, and like, it, yes, I, I can definitely see someone getting on and being mean, like I can definitely see that. Like I've <laughs> dealt with mean YouTube comments for, since like 2011, 2012, so I can deal with a weirdo live, it's just weird when it's like when they can see me reading it, you know? Whereas like YouTube comments on a video, like they can't see my reaction. And honestly, my reaction is typically nothing. Like it's that, it's like, okay, like I move on. Um, because, you know, obviously if you have that much free time to just be a jerk to people online for absolutely no reason, um, you don't deserve a reaction, you know? And I don't get many comments these days anyway, so I haven't actually had a mean comment. Well, my shorts get a lot of views sometimes, and every once in a while, like, just a dumb mean one will be on there. But, like, a mean, mean comment, I haven't gotten one in a while. Sometimes people are weird and, like, will send emails, too. Like, <laughs> they want to go the extra mile, they're going to find your email and uh, either email you, like, love notes, which... Thankfully, I've not had one of those in a while, like years, or they'll send you threats. So <laughs> yeah, things have been great lately. Silent. I think people are just busy these days. No time to comment. I don't get that like much anymore because I don't get, like I said, like it's when you get a lot of views, you obviously have a lot more personalities watching your videos and some are there for good reasons and some are specifically there for bad ones so <laughs> you weed that out when you don't get views and also depends on the type of video you are putting out because when i used to do my try on like athletic wear videos and um, that's when i would get the most comments that were unwanted um about like physical stuff and then the emails oh and then my um era of story time videos and like date oh god when I had to go like dating with online profiles and stuff that era that's when I would get a ton of emails because people would ask me out in the emails and like try to start a connection through that um but they would do it in really strange ways and so obviously I never uh, went out with anyone from that. Could have been a cute love story. The way I met Randy, everyone just assumes was a dating app, but um, no, it was not. I worked at the school he grew up at, and my um, class office mate, so like neighbor, was his cousin, um, the athletic director now, and Randy saw a post on fate like the school's Facebook that I was in and added me as a friend and I declined it because I'm like I don't know this man and if he like wanted in my mind I was like maybe he wants something like he needs to ask me a question about something or if maybe he's like a parent that has a question and like sometimes parents would message me on Facebook but like I always kept Facebook as like 
people I know and like friends and I wouldn't add parents on there because like if parents need me they call me come see me in person or email me and so like a lot of times when I'm like I think that's someone that might want something that's uh, more like confidential or work related I'm not going to add you on Facebook because I have done that before in the past and it just opened up the door for unwanted conversations you know like I'm not wanting to date any of the parents either and so I did not um accept his Facebook request and he did it about once a year for three years and never messaged me like never any clue as to what he wanted and if it was companionship <laughs> and he never let that on and so yeah one day COVID had just started <laughs> and I was living alone with my kitties if you're here from that era, hello. Um, and I had been re I don't know if I've ever told this specific story. I think I've told stories about how we met. But I had been reading an audiobook in the pool, because my apartment almost had a pool. So like every day I would go out to the pool for and do like laps and then uh, listen to an audiobook and try to get a tiny bit of a tan for my pale skin. And one day I was listening to an audiobook about um relationships and um I had just turned 30 yes I had just turned it was my 30th birthday COVID had just started the week before just to like shut down during my birthday I was lonely and I was listening to this audiobook of like how to um basically get out of your own way and the man, and I will try to figure, remember who it was. I know I can look it up on my phone because it's still on there. Um, but the man was saying, you have to give yourself reasons to say yes, even when you want to say no, blah, blah, blah. Like, it was just basically like a say yes to things, experience things, um, meet people and like put yourself out there. And I saw his friend request that day, that specific day. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know what, I'm going to accept it. So I accepted it and that man did not message me. He just had me as a friend on Facebook. And a week later, like almost exactly a week later, I was about to unfriend him because I'm like that kind of petty. I'm like, what did you want? But I'm not going to ask you what you wanted because like you're the one that like started this. And finally, I look at my Facebook and I had a message from him. And I have no idea what it said. Um, but we had messaged for a week straight. And I still thought he was kind of creepy because of the whole three year Facebook once a year ad, like adding thing. Um, and he had the same name as my uncle and that also bothered me. But then I'm like, listen to your book, Brittany, just because he has a name that you know the person has a name that's like a family member doesn't mean that you can't form a relationship with them. Because like, that's like, those are the types of things in the past I would have been like, Mm, swipe left on <laughs> and so again I brought that like audio I'm gonna credit our relationship to that audiobook honestly this Australian man knew what he was doing and yeah we went on a date our first date I <laughs> and I did this with almost every single first date um, and especially with my husband's because I mentality wise was not in it being like we're gonna date um, but I always say, hey, let's just like, cause he, most people want to go get dinner. I don't like, I don't want people to spend money on me. Like there are some guys that like refuse to let you pay. So like, I'm not going to go somewhere that, um, someone's going to spend money on me. And then I, if I don't like them and I don't want to go out again, they're going to feel like used. And so I said, why don't we just go to this Mexican restaurant, um, like half a mile from my apartment because I didn't want to go out of my way um, for this date. <laughs> and I was like, let's just go get um, a pitcher of margarita and um, chips and salsa and hang out. You know, very, very casual. I met him there. Uh, I wasn't going to let him pick me up. And yeah, we went there and he dumped my idea of just getting margaritas and chips and salsa and he was very, very handsome. Um, I did not, like, it almost felt like a blind date because I did not, like, go into his Facebook profile to see what he looked like or, um, like, stalk him at all because 
part of the whole podcast, like audiobook I was listening to, is that you should not do that because that would have given me reasons to say no. And so I didn't. And so like I had no like no clue about this man, who he was, what he looked like, if he had kids, if like I think I knew he was a coach because his profile photo was him and like kids um because he's a football coach. But uh he was so handsome and so I'm like, "Okay, well, this is a good start and and he was like i'm really hungry can we please like eat real food and so we were at this restaurant and we i was like okay and secretly i had already had dinner at that point but i'm also the type of person that doesn't want to make people feel awkward so i had a second dinner <laughs> so we had that we had margaritas and then um yeah that's that's it like obviously well i guess it's not obvious i just went home after that i did not um, invite him over or like I didn't want to do anything else and so I went home and I hung out with my so like my apartment friends I would hang out with them like almost daily or every other day so like I was driving through and like I saw them and so like I went and like hung out with them for the night and it was really fun um and then he asked me on a second date and then then yeah the rest is history I think I knew by the third day I was gonna date him second date was still like okay um let's get you in a more casual setting and then the rest is history we moved to utah together the next year so and now we're married and have a baby <laughs> i guess the point to that story is to um say yes to things that you don't typically want to if that makes sense read listen to the audiobook or read the book um this is a weird uh <laughs> sticker this is a dog in a sun hat Justice, hope you like that. I think people are always shocked by like relationships that started in COVID, how quickly they happened. But a lot of that was actually, um, it felt quick to other people because they weren't around you guys, you know? Like I didn't have him around people. I didn't have him like paraded around. We spent a most nights like inside and like other couples I've talked to about like that kind of thing where it's like, oh, I just one day posted that we got married, but it had been like three years later. You know what I mean? Like it didn't feel rushed in any sense, but I think to some people that COVID relationships did feel rushed, but you know, I mean, we did have a baby after two years. So I, I when you know, you know. Anna is getting a shark that is also cut up like sushi. I think we had one of those the other day. He is awake. Hey, aren't you? You're awake. So we're gonna go ahead to the post office, drop this off, and then we have therapy after. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. We done messed up. I told you guys I don't oversell on TikTok. I oversold on TikTok. And by that, I don't have any strawberry bookmarks to put in to orders. So I was just getting all my bookmarks like ready to be shipped out. And I don't have enough. <laughs> it's fine. I'm wearing a dress, a like mini dress. Well, it's like one of those traveler dresses. From Abercrombie because I was gonna go outside today we we're gonna go to the mailbox um, and I'm trying to get a little bit of Sun safely I have sunscreen on um, just so I'm not like a hundred shades lighter than Randy for our family photos this weekend <laughs> so I needed Sun anyways Asher's napping I'm hoping I have like an hour left in his nap so I'm gonna go outside I'll have the monitor with me um, but fingers crossed you know I can get at least like five bookmarks done and then tonight I'm just gonna work on replenishing my stock I've just been really like laid back about making things lately that I wasn't keeping track of how much I actually had and so yeah we need to make some bookmarks it's fine I like making them they're just like they're difficult to make unless I'm not doing anything like I can't make them with Asher because he, he literally like almost nine out of ten times will th like throw my bead tray 
um, off my lap and it's just a disaster. Um, so if I'm by myself or like at night when it's his bedtime or when Randy can kind of control him, <laughs> um, that's the time I can make bookmarks. And then at shows, but I didn't make any last show because I didn't want to come home with more stuff than I came with. So we're making bookmarks now. Also have this low cooker on and I did some touch up paint, but I did not show you guys that. I'll show you guys later probably. Okay, enough talking. I need to hurry. <laughs> He's awake. I shut the camera off and not even like four seconds later, I heard Asher. And so my plan is ruined. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I guess I'll have him back here and he can play and I'll make, I just need to make two and then tonight I'll have to make the rest. So wish me luck. <laughs> Welcome back. I just got done making my last two strawberry charms so i actually need to get the packaging for those great just realized it was my last two and i just did an amazon order because i am about a day away from running out of these which i hate when i do it in multiple orders a day because then it just feels so wasteful to have them in separate boxes and maybe even delivered by separate people I just don't like that at all. Normally I do like get it on Amazon day, um, Amazon Prime day to where I just like hold out. But like with this, I'm going to need it like immediately. I'll just have to figure out something in the meantime for any strawberries that sell. So I'm going to go through real quick and tell you what everyone got. And then I'll probably do it on like a speed round where I'm not talking to you. Um, April got a... A little strawberry jewel bookmark we have Sydney from Texas April is from New Jersey I got some a lot of New Jersey orders in this one you'll see um Sydney from Texas also got a strawberry bookmark Nalani that's a pretty name from New Jersey and uh, got a strawberry bookmark are they all friends New Jersey's not that big <laughs> I'm just kidding it's, it's big Jessica from Arizona got a star tumbler charm where I just have them. They're somewhere. I'll get them here in a minute. A strawberry bookmark. One of my night court bookmarks. So she got a lot in that. And then we have Leah from Georgia got a strawberry bookmark. It's the most popular right now because like that was the video that went viral was a strawberry bookmark. Oh, Brittany from Colorado got a strawberry bookmark. Adaama, I don't know, South Carolina, got a night court bookmark, a lot of repeats, Christina from California got a strawberry bookmark, Yesenia ordered again, this is her third order, I think she might be my top customer now, she got a Sophie bookmark, two of my night court bookmarks, and then a strawberry bookmark, which she's ordered you hear Asher in the background. She's ordered at least one of those, I know for sure. And she's on like doubles now. I think she just has a lot of friends. <laughs> and then um, lastly, Jolie from Texas. <laughs> she ordered a star charm. Let me grab those. So whenever I get Etsy orders, it's almost always for these right here. I don't know why. I think a YouTube video did really well of this specific product and like that's where my Etsy orders come from. So on my comments on YouTube, I always link my Etsy store. Whereas TikTok, I link my TikTok products because you link it right in the app. So um, I think that's like the difference from YouTube to Etsy. And then I don't think I've ever had an Instagram sale. So I don't know. If I have, they haven't said they're from Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and then just put you on some relaxing music in the background, maybe some jazz, smooth jazz. And I know for sure when I edit, I never actually do what I'm gonna say. Um, and I always just put it on the same song, so it's like linked in my iMovie already. And I usually don't upload new music, but I will, I will try my hardest to upload something new today for you. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, what an idiot. You know that, <laughs> that meme? I almost packed these up and left and in my brain, I was like, something feels off. I was like, I remember, I could have sworn I saw some of those midnight, um, my like white eclipse bookmarks, the ones I made for the eclipse, but I named them Midnight Moon. And in my brain, I got it confused with the night court. So holy schmoes, we have two orders to open up and switch them out from the night court bookmarks to the midnight moon bookmarks. Phew, I need to change that name. It needs to be like white moon or something, something where it's like, it's white. Even though I, they're limited edition and I truly only have three left. So at this point, should I just keep them? I don't know. Um, so we need to get out Yesenia's. <laughs> Girly pop almost got a duplicate bookmark there. And then we have um, Jessica's too. So cool, let's open them up and hopefully re repurpose the packaging. We're about to be highly confused. They're also gonna think their package is tampered with a little bit. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. All done, all, all is well. Now I'm gonna go to the park for Asher and my legs and then to the po well to the post office in the park it's along the way normally we walk but today we are driving because the park I want to go to is a definitely a drive all right I'll see you guys tomorrow for I'll probably be outside making products but I'll take you guys with me so that you can have a different angle other than this gloomy bedroom see you then <laughs> bye editing Brittany here. I just wanted to close out this clip because we're at 40 minutes right now editing and like that's just too long for most people I think watching. I know there are a few of you that enjoy really long videos but like I have so much I was going to cram into a video. It was going to be like two hours long so we're cutting it short and I will be back later this week with the part two um, leading up to the market. So thank you for watching and I will see you so soon. Um, please subscribe if you're not already. Bye.